Food and wine pairings is, is, a, is a bit of an objective thing and, um, and I think that's why I'm also so excited to step away from the whole fine dining uh, scenario. I think people take, take it almost too seriously. We don't want to get bogged down by strict wine pairings and strict food and wine and everything else. We want people to come, uh, we'll give them good advice. They'll become comfortable with us eventually where they know we'll give them a good advice and, uh, and just in, enjoy the, the, the food and wine for what it is. If you don't like white wine, don't drink white wine, you know. Um, order something that you, that you enjoy. The food is going to be accessible to everybody. Um, it, it's, going to be, it's going to be simple food but, but incredibly tasty, uh, well cooked. Um, but a big part of what we're going to be doing uh, with our new restaurant is, uh, is the bar experience. I think the bar is about 8.8 .8 meters in length. Uh, we've got a, a, a wine cellar that holds uh, about 2,000 wines. Uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's, a lovely, it's a lovely little space with some beautiful South African designers that have done some furniture for us. And, uh, and essentially some really interesting tapas. Not, not big, not expensive menu, but some really cool food in the bar. Some incredibly tasty uh, cocktails and uh, and and uh, and some interesting beers, you know, and obviously the wine then to to go. So, do I drink beer for breakfast? I would have to answer yes, to be honest. But my partner Gary's got a has got he's a you must understand something about Gary. Gary has facts. I don't know. Gary reads a lot. He's on the internet a lot. I think, but but Gary has facts and he loves numbers and he loves. It's it's fascinating. You just sit and and, uh, and listen uh, all all day. So I'm gonna come tell us about this beer. We were, we were talking about beer for breakfast and and. Uh Firstly, I do have beer for breakfast as well. So <laughs> let me get that out, get out the way. Good. Um, what are those facts? That I came across was that in the 17th century they used to have um, beer for breakfast but it was warm so they didn't have ref refrigeration in those days so they used to have warm beer for breakfast so that was one of the facts that we came across in the 17th century yeah 17th 16th century England